bright, beautiful Broadway, big, bright, beautiful Broadway, big, bright, beautiful Broadway! American journalist Dan Rother once said, The dream begins with the teacher who believes in you, who tugs and pushes and leads you to the next plateau, sometimes poking you with a sharp stick called truth. This was true for one particular teacher, a person who inspired, propelled, encouraged, and supported many of his students. Mr. Spencer was not only Custom Middle School's theater department director, he was an influential leader, a person who changed the lives of many students. If I were to choose a word to describe Mr. Spencer, I want to say uplifting um, in that he put his faith and love and everything he had in him into his cast and the people he loved. So like, I was not happy about the part that I got but when we went to go compete with the audition in Rashi after the show I got a standing ovation for the role that I played and obviously, like, that's a really flattering gesture. And I was looking around at like, a full 360 of all the people who were, like, standing up and clapping. And I was standing up, too, because I was just looking at it all, taking it all in. And when I turned all the way around, he was clapping the hardest. And I don't know. I just remember that he was my biggest fan. And so my sixth grade year I auditioned for the musical Oliver and I wasn't expecting much because it was my first musical I'd ever done so I was like oh I'm just gonna audition for a role I'm probably not gonna get much but then I was cast as a member of Fagin's Yang and that was like really cool because it, it wasn't like just a normal ensemble role like it was something and he kind of like helped me realize my passion for theater because through Oliver I was able to realize like wow I really like this and I kind of want to do it throughout middle school and then Throughout middle school, I kind of realized, oh, I want to do it through high school, and then through high school, I want to do it for a job. China, so that plays, ping pong all the day long. Ping Kong Connor lives in Hong Kong, China, and he plays ping pong all the day long. I was also in Fagan's Gang, and like it was the sixth grade year, so like I wasn't part of any clubs or anything, but my sister was in theater, so she told me that I should try out. And when I did, I didn't think I was going to get a role, and then I ended up being part of Fagan's Gang, which like, not that cool, but it's so cool because like you're a sixth grader and like Fagin's Gang is like the second most important character. Like we're a whole <laughs> unit, and it was like it was pretty dope, and it made me want to like continue doing theater for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, all three years of middle school, we would always have a uh, theater Friday mornings, and I would always get to see his face, and I don't know, I just felt I felt good. Yeah. I felt so happy. Okay, so my favorite thing about Mr. Spencer was that he, like, we never knew what he was doing, but he always knew what he was doing, you know what I mean? And, like, he had, because, like, he had the most controversial casting. Like, there was always, like, something about it. But then I remember in seventh grade when we were doing Once on this Island, I, like, really wanted to be Daniel, and I was, like, preparing all summer for the role. And then he cast me as Agwe, so I was just like, what? Like, no thanks, stick it back. <laughs> but then, I, like, I actually played Agwe, and to this day, like, I always talk about it, it is the most fun I've ever had in a show. Like, it, it was just such a fun role, and that, that was my first, like, transition from, like, sixth grade, just, like, being in the ensemble. And then now, like, I had my own solo, and I remember, like, at the end of Singing Rain, just, like, doing that thing at the end where I did, where I, like, fell, like, onto, like, the platform, and then hearing, like, <laughs> like the applause like it just felt so good and then it was at that time where I actually became like passionate about theater and going into high school I just kind of like abandoned it I'm just glad that his last moment seeing me was back on stage where I belong where he like like brought me in sixth grade I auditioned for Antigone and even though I only had like five lines and I was part of the chorus, um, Mr. Spencer would always tell me that that was the first time that, you know, he saw something in me and I really think that he did. And that was the reason that I came back in the spring and I auditioned for The Wiz 
and I got a pretty big role. I was Scarecrow. Um, and then from there, um, theater became my life in middle school, and he became a part of that. Um, he was my number one fan, my big supporter. Um, every time, you know, we were performing, I would see my mom out on stage with balloons and flowers and, and clapping like crazy, and then I'd see Mr. Spencer clapping just as loud and, you know, going just as crazy for me. Um, he was a really big part of my life. And he was, even after middle school, too. It wasn't for him, and if it wasn't for a theater, and if it wasn't for Cuss, and, and so I would definitely thank him for that. <laughs> I started theater with Mr. Spencer the spring of my sixth grade year. In 2009, we did Jane Eyre. Um, I wanted to do theater because I thought it was fun, and it would be a great way to meet friends. I remember the first time Mr. Spencer talked to me, I had just got my braces on and I was on stage playing with my braces with my tongue because they felt weird and he pulled me aside and he told me to stop doing that very kindly. Um, but it made me feel important because he actually noticed me on stage uh, when I was a small sixth grader and I didn't really know anyone and I didn't talk a lot. And you just think such a small thing back then has turned me into who I am today. Uh, and I'm forever grateful for everything that he saw in me and helped me to become. Mr. Spencer had a huge impact on my life, actually. Yeah. Like, he helped me grow as an actress. There. He was just a part of it who pushed all of us together. He was always there when you didn't have some place else to go. He told me I had um, the potential to be something better, so he pushed me to be in this show, and this is my first one. He was really there for me. I first met him in sixth grade and I thought, wow, what is this I've gotten myself into? He saw potential in me and... He was a big inspiration for them. Miranda, my sister, had bullying problems this year and he took it upon himself to talk to our family and talk to, he would like get updates from us. He would ask us how we're doing and... Well, like he gave me that confidence to like sing because he like, he doesn't like judge you for your singing, he just wants you to try it. So. Mr. Spencer was such a great man and he believed in all of us. Just everything a director should be, Mr. Spencer was. So 